The A3 first debuted in America in 2006, but because of its hatchback styling, it never really caught on. While I applauded Audi's attempt at a small four-door car, it looked rather ugly next to the A4. But things have changed dramatically. It's like the A4 went on an intense summer diet, dropped 400 pounds, and now looks better than ever. And I'm very grateful for its size. In a world of ever-growing sedans, where consumers prefer more legroom to a better driving experience, the A3 is a diamond in the rough. The interior is minimalistic. However, it has everything that you need. And in a place where cars are getting more and more cluttered with buttons and gizmos everywhere, it's kind of welcomed. It's really driver focused. The fit and finish is great, like all Audis. And while it doesn't have the gorgeous wood trim of something like the A8, it also doesn't have panel gap like its rival, the CLA. Of course, one of the best parts about the A3 is the way it drives. Interestingly enough, we test drove a 2001 Audi A4 a little while back. And when I looked into it further, this car is actually identical in height to the old A4, as well as 9 tenths of an inch shorter. So this compact package, combined with a 3,175 pound curb weight, leads to a really fun car in the back roads. As with most Audis, the steering is very light. However, because of its size, I really welcome it. It is so easy to maneuver around, and the car darts side to side with very little effort. You know, I wasn't expecting a very fast car. It's got a 1.8 liter turbo four-cylinder, producing 170 horsepower and 200 foot-pounds of torque. But the second I got into the car, I was quite surprised. It actually, at most speeds, under 50 miles an hour, thrusts forward with aggression, and it's plenty fast for what this car is meant to be. One of the A3's greatest attributes is its ease of use. Pairing my phone to the Bluetooth system took about a minute tops. Another thing I really liked is when I was driving, trying to change the volume on a song I was playing, I thought to myself, wouldn't it be cool if you could press the knob to the side to change tracks? And it turns out that's exactly how it works. I really appreciate that. 60 miles an hour happens in the A3 in 6.8 seconds. Yes, it's not a powerhouse, but it's actually quicker than you'd expect. But that's not where this car shines. When the A3 is under 45 miles an hour, darting from apex to apex in tight, twisty roads, that's where you really understand why this is such a great car. As with all Audis, the MMI system is easy to use. It's slightly simplified because the A3 doesn't have that many options, but overall, a good system. Unlike most Audis that feature a Quattro, this base A3 has a front wheel drive system. But I really appreciate that because the front wheel drive keeps the cost down. It still allows you to maneuver in the rain and snow better than a rear wheel drive. And it also saves weight. I really enjoyed my time with the A3. The exterior is of course gorgeous. The interior is minimalistic, yet I like the way it looks and it's totally functional and still high quality. But the driving experience takes the cake with the Audi. With a compact sedan, it's very important that the car is fun. And for that reason, I really like the A3. The A3 was a joy to drive, and I hope you enjoyed this review. Like always, please browse our channel and subscribe. Go ahead and like us on Facebook. If you have any more questions or cars you'd like to see us review, leave a comment below. We'll try to get on that. And you should check this car out at Audi of Ann Arbor, Michigan. It's there now for $34,075.